So this is a brief introduction to our first chapter in, or module in, uh, biology concepts. So this module will over overview the uh, biology as the study of life and the importance of understanding life's diversity and commonalities. Okay, so in particular, our objectives are to identify and describe the properties of life, understand the levels of organization among living things, and recognize the different subdisciplines in biology. So the different properties of life are first order. Life is made up of at least one or more cells in the body, okay? Um, and then the second one is response to stimuli, reproduction, adaptation, growth and development, homeostasis or regulation. That just means that you try to maintain a constant internal environment like body temperature, uh, energy processing, and evolution. Then we have hierarchies or levels of organization. These levels of organization, again, always start at the smallest unit. Uh, we could go all the way down to atoms, right? But atoms aren't alive. And then, but from atoms, we go up to a, uh, a num number of atoms bonded together. We call those molecules. And then lots of molecules together make up a cell. Uh, and then from cells make up tissues, and then tissues make up organs, and then organs make up an organ system, and then organ systems make up the organism, the individual. Then organisms make up a population, and groups of populations make up communities, and communities make up ecosystems, and then all life on Earth is part of the biosphere. Uh, and it's important to understand each level ha has its own um, combination and levels of complexity in life. So some of the branches of biological study or sub-disciplines are molecular biology, microbiology, neurobiology, zoology, botany, or the study of plants, and ecology, just to name a few. Um, um, we're going to introduce you to some interdisciplinary fields so that actually that where they kind of mix in a couple of those things. One of those is bioinformatics and you can get bio, biology, and then informatics is kind of information, right? And then bio and then technology. Uh, there's a lot of mixing going on right now. Also, the other thing that we'll cover in this section is the process of science or uh, the scientific me method as it's commonly understood. And that objective is first to understand the characteristics of natural science, explain this scientific inquiry, um, and differenti differentiate between inductive and deductive reasoning, and describe the, basic, describe the goals of basic and applied science. And as you know, uh, when it comes to the scientific method or scientific inquiry, we're very interested in four primary steps. And that is um, observation, hypothesis, experimentation, and conclusions. And there can be lots of sub-steps on there. If you open up a textbook, you're going to see a whole lot more than those four basic steps. But those are the main ones. And then eventually, we have to talk about what a peer review is. And so science, in order for it to be useful, has to, you know, have some level of credibility to it. And we uh, ensure there's credibility in scientific, um, in scientific research by uh, having it go through a peer review to make sure that all the proper steps were, were found. Really quickly, just the differences between inductive and deductive inductive reasoning um, is from specific ob observations to general conclusions. So that's inductive. That's the process of going from specific observations to general conclusions. And then deductive reasoning is general principles 
two spe specific principles, and we'll talk more about that. The differences between basic and applied science is uh, basic science is expanding knowledge without immediate practical application. So we don't really know what maybe our immediate scientific experiment means to the broader world, but it, it's still useful. When we do applied science, we take what we learn in the laboratory and then we go out into the real world and use it. And so it's real world application. So in summary, we're going to reinforce the interconnectedness of biological concepts and emphasize the role in understanding life and solving global challenges using biology.